ओम भूर्भुव स्व तत्सुर्वरेण्य भर्गो देवाश शांति 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 नमस्ते माय डियर फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गिविंग यू ए वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो ऑन साधना एंड ग्रेस साधना इज ए वेरी नाइस वर्ड Sadhana means we try to focus our mind on God and self, and try to eliminate mind and ego, and also elimination of vasanas is. prerequisite grace means when our mind becomes pure and we are observing all the principles of dharma then we are eligible for the grace grace means a special privilege imparted by god to the person who is undergoing sadhana so these are the two very important words we have to understand when you are successful in sadhana you becomes eligible for grace so grace is preceded by sadhana or you can say grace is or sadhana is followed by grace now it is in the form of questions by devotees and replies by maharishi ramana so let us see what happens during this discussion in the question answer form devotee research on god has been going on from time immemorial has the final word been said maharishi keep silence for some time devotee puzzled should i consider sri bhagwan's silence as a reply to my question maharishi yes mona is iswara swarupa has the text mon mon vyakha prakrititi par brahm tatvam devotee buddha is said to have ignored such enquiries about god maharishi and for this he was called sunne vadin nihilist in fact buddha concerned himself more with directing the seeker to realize bliss here and now then with academic discussion about god etc and devotee god is described as manifest and unmanifest as the former he is said to include the world as a part of his being if that is so we as part of that world should have easily known him in the manifested form maharishi know yourself before you seek to decide about the nature of god and the world the truth of supreme brahma proclaimed through silent eloquence devotee does knowing myself imply knowing god yes god is within mercy says yes god is within you devotee then what stands in the way of my knowing myself or god maharishi your wandering mind and perverted ways devotee i am a weak creature but why does not superior power of the lord within remove the obstacles maharishi yes he will if you have the aspiration devotee why should he not create 
the aspiration in me mercy then surrender yourself devotee if i surrender myself is no prayer to god necessary mercy surrender itself is a mighty prayer devotee but is it not necessary to understand his nature before one surrenders oneself mercy if you believe that god will do for you all the things you want him to do then surrender yourself to him otherwise let god alone and know yourself devotee has god or the guru any solicitude for me maharishi if you seek either they are not really two but one and identical rest assured that they are seeking you with a solicitude greater than you can ever imagine devotee Je- jesus gave the parable of the lost coin wherein the woman searches for it till it is found Mercy, yes, that aptly represents the truth that God or the Guru is always in search of the earnest seeker. Were the coin a dead piece, the woman would not have made that long search. Do you see what it means? The seeker must qualify himself through devotion, etc. Devotee, but one may not be quite sure of God's grace. Mercy, if the unripe mind does not feel his grace, it does not mean that God's grace is absent, for it would imply that God is at times not gracious, that is, ceases to be God. Devotee, is that the same as the saying of Christ, according to thy faith, be it done unto thee? Mercy says, quite so. Devotee, the Upanishads say, I am told that he alone knows the Atma whom the Atma chooses. Why should the Atma choose at all? If it chooses, why some particular person, Maharasi? When the sun rises, some birds alone blossom, not all. Do you blame the sun for that? Nor can the bird blossom of itself. It requires the sunlight to do it. Devotee, may we not say that the help of the Atma is needed because it is the Atma that drew over itself the veil of Maya, Maharasi. You may say so. Devotee, if the Atma has drawn the veil over itself, should it not itself remove the veil? Maharasi, it will do so. See for whom is the veil. Devotee, why should I let the Atma itself remove the veil? Mercy, if the Atma talks about the veil, then the Atma itself will remove it. Devotee, is God personal? Mercy, yes, he is always the first person, the I, ever standing before you. Because you give pre- precedence to worldly things, God appears to have receded to the background. If you give up all else and seek him alone, he alone will remain as the I, the Self. Devotee, the final state of realization according to Advaita is said to be the absolute union with the Divine and according to Vishishta Advaita, a qualified union, while Dvaita maintains that there is no union at all. Which of these should be considered the correct view? Maharishi, why speculate as to what will happen sometime in the future? All are agreed that the I existed. To whichever school of thought he may belong, let the earnest seeker first find out what the I is. Then it will be time enough to know what the final state will be, whether the I will get merged in the Supreme Being or stand apart from Him. Let us not forestall the conclusion but keep an open mind. Devotee, but will not some understanding of the final state be a helpful guide even to the aspirant? Maharishi replies, no purpose is served in trying to decide now what the final state of realization will be. It has no intrinsic value. Devotee, why so? Maharishi, because you proceed on a wrong principle. 
your ascertainment has to depend on the intellect which shines only by the light it drives from the self is it not pre presumptuous on the part of the intellect to sit in judgment over that of which is but a limited manifestation and from which it derives its little light how can the intellect which can never reach the self by competent to ascertain and much less decide the nature of the final state of realization it is like trying to measure the sunlight at its source by the standard of the light given by a candle the wax will melt down before the candle comes anywhere near the sun instead of indulging in mere speculation devote yourself here and now to the search of the truth that is ever within you so people say we are not getting grace of god but that is wrong grace of god equally available for each and every individual but those who have done sadhana in a required and with principles and with pure mind then grace will be available and the sadhak can receive the grace in full measure but instead of trying to purify the mind eliminating the ego eliminating the vasanas if someone is blaming god for grace not available it is his fault not god's fault so first we must make ourselves ready and eligible for receiving the grace of god and this can be done by purifying our mind and removing the obstacles of all modifications of mind like ego and most important thing is that vasanas must be removed completely till vasanas remain in our chitta then number of negative thoughts will carry on arising from the atma and our mind will never be pure and hence we can never be eligible for receiving the grace so we have to undergo the sadhana of purification of mind elimination of mind and ego and vasanas so this is the purpose of undergoing sadhana observing certain principles huh? purify the mind eliminate ego and vasanas so this is sadhana then automatically you will become eligible for receiving the grace of god god's grace is available in plenty for each and every body it is up to you if you want to receive god's grace then you have to purify your mind eliminate your vasanas and even eradicate and completely weaken your mind mind can never be controlled it can be weakened it can be eradicated same way ego when mind is removed automatically ego will be removed because ego is the modification of mind so they go together and vasanas also we eliminate when vasanas are eliminated arising of thoughts will decrease when arising of thoughts will decrease mind will become weak when mind will become weak that means ego also will become weak so these are all you know interconnected so 
grace of God is available in plenty for each and every body, but only thing you have to decide yourself whether you want to receive the grace, then you have to undergo sadhana in the positive way. So, dear friends, I end the video here. Thank you for listening and watching this good video. Please like, comment and share the video and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Namaste, my dear friends.